Borderline Personality Disorder. I would like to thank everyone out there that subscribed and was part of helping us reach our first milestone. We've reached our first 100 subscribers, which is amazing. That was our first goal. Now we're going for 500, 1,000, and then the world! So if you've not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You do not want to be the last person to subscribe. It won't be a good spot to be in. I have found in my treatment so far, goals are very important. If I don't have a reason to get out of bed, I won't get out of bed. I have to be moving towards something or else I don't feel I have a purpose. Each time you reach a goal, it also gives you some sense of self. You can say you reached that goal. That was something you wanted to do, and you achieved it, you finished it, it's done. A year ago, I was living a life that was horrible, miserable. I was in an abusive friendship. All I did to change it, I made a conscious decision that I didn't want to, I didn't want my life to continue to be miserable. My first goal was just to leave. Just to leave where I was living. With just that first goal, now, living the life I wanted to live, going after what I want to go after. Goals help you stay on a path. They give you some accountability. I've said it before, I'll say it again. We manifest our reality. What you think and what you believe will happen. Manifesting your own reality really pisses me off. It forces me to have to take responsibility for my life, which is the last thing I ever want to do. I don't want to take responsibility for my life. That means I'm responsible for it. If I'm miserable, it's because I have made myself miserable. That is not something I want to deal with. If I'm going to believe that I manifest my reality, then I have to accept that. I get to thinking, yeah, all those people that say you manifest your reality are so full of it. They're just, they, life's been easy for them. They've, so of course they're going to say they can manifest their reality. Shifting blame. Once again, not trying to take responsibility for my life. I'm trying to make up reasons why they're successful when I'm not. So I don't have to look at the fact that maybe it's me. <clears throat> I'll get in this mindset every once in a while too, a lot of times actually, more than I'd like to admit, where I say screw it. I'm trying to manifest my reality. I'm thinking all positive things and I'm not getting anywhere. So it's total crap. It does not work. If I'm really honest with myself and I look at my thoughts though, my thoughts are usually, this is what I want to do, but I'm not going to be able to achieve it. This is what I'm going to want to do, but I'm not going to, it's all negativity. It's like there's the positive, but then there's the negative behind it. So of course I'm going to breed negativity. I do believe though, if you have goals, realistic goals that you can meet, I mean, I have my long-term way off their goal, which right now is unrealistic. But if I keep doing my little small goals, that goal will one day become a reality. So at the same time that I'm doing goals and reaching those, I'm also keeping the vision in my head of what my final outcome is going to be. As if I've already achieved it. I already know I'm going to get it. I believe if you can do that, you can change your reality. I know I suffer from horrible depression and when it gets really bad, I'll lay in bed for days on end, not doing anything. That's not actively living. That's might as well be dead at that point. I'm not doing anything to help my situation. So if I'm completely wrong about manifesting realities and the power of positive thinking and laws of attraction, at least it gets me out of bed and I'm not and I'm doing something. I'm moving forward in some capacity. Do you believe we manifest our reality, or do you think it's a bunch of bunch of BS. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you give a bum change? That bum is most likely 
going to go buy a Samson Plasma High Definition Television. You could go check out my Patreon page, make a donation of three, five, ten, or even twenty dollars, get access to exclusive content too risque for YouTube, plus you know where that money's going, to give this channel credibility, not for a Samson Plasma HD TV. The link to my Patreon page is in the description below. Until next time, keep on keeping on. I am loved. I am accepted. I am successful. I am a good person. I am loved.